What's going on, everybody? We're going to be installing Pac-Man Championship Edition today. Now, I've already downloaded the file. I'm going to skip all that. I think I've done it enough in my past videos, and you guys should know what to do by now. So here's the file on my D drive, and I'm going to go ahead and double-click it. Double-click it again. Click the white space. Make sure that nothing is highlighted. Go to Extract. Should say D already because it's on my D drive. If it doesn't, or if you're uh, installing it from an external drive or anything, just go ahead and select the uh, click on the button right here. Select the D drive here. Hit OK, and then it should say D. Then after that, I'm going to press OK. Let it extract, and we're just going to copy two things over manually, and you should be all set. All right, so now that everything copied over, I'm going to go ahead and close this window. You can see the usual copy manually that I and I that appears here. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because this one's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and take a look. Same idea, it's just we're copying things to uh, different places than usual. So you want to highlight this entire first section here from the game to the game. So opening tag to closing tag, highlight the whole thing, copy. And it says up here to copy it to pcgames.xml. So to find that, we're going to go to File Open. We're going to go to Databases. We're going to look for PC Games. And double click on pcgames.xml. You can put it after any game you want. I'm just going to scroll down a bit here. And I'm going to look for... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's just say you want to place it. You can go alphabetically. It doesn't really matter. So here you have an entry, right? This is a previous entry that's here. That's for Dead or Alive 5. So you have the opening game tag and the closing game tag with the forward slash like that. So you're going to you're gonna click on after the uh, closing game tag and, you know, do a space. Uh, I'm sorry, press enter to uh, get a new line. And that's why you want to place your new entry just like that. You're going to hit the floppy disk up here to save and you can close this out. Now I'm going to copy this section here and it says to copy it to pcgames.ini. So to find that we're going to go to file open, rocket launcher, uh, modules, look for PC launcher and look for pcgames.ini. All the way down, last line right here, paste. There you go. Now save that. And that is all you have to do. Now the game is fully installed and will be working from Hyperspin. So I'm going to go ahead and start up Hyperspin. Okay, we're going to go down to Windows Games. And it will be right in here. There it is, Pac-Man DX. Now let me start up the game real quick and I'm going to show you guys a few things about the controls. So if you have an Xbox controller, it's natively supported in the game. So there's nothing uh, really to explain there. You can actually go into the menu and look at what the controls are. But um, if you have something like the extension controller or the X arcade controller or an iPad or anything like that, uh, what I've done is I've mapped enter to the player one start. You can, of course, still use your select or enter key as well. So um, right now, for example, you would press player one start or the actual enter select key. Confirm, press enter. Again, anytime it says enter, it's player one start or your actual enter or select key on the extension. Obviously, you have your arrow keys to scroll up and down. So play game. Let's say I press player one start. Uh, and before I go in there, let me show you something in the help and options section. You've got a control section. And if you go in there and you go to controller, that will be your Xbox controller. It'll show you what all the buttons do. Okay, so now to back out of here or back out of anything, if you're using the extension or the XRK joystick, it's going to be your insert credit for player one which normally acts as your back button uh, on the Xbox controller, right? So you would press the the insert credit for player one and that's gonna back you out. So I did that right now. And uh, I'm gonna do it again and again. Okay, so I'm gonna go to play game, player one start or enter, select. And I'm gonna do it again. 
and again. And there you go. You select your options up and down uh, with the joysticks, etc. And then press player one start. Starts up the game. Obviously, it's Pac-Man. So you just have, you know, your directionals. And on this one, you actually have a bomb, which is going to be your player uh, one button one. So first top button going from left to right. So if you were to press that button, you get the bomb. And that's pretty much it, guys. So basically for pause, you have your pause button that you can press. And that's going to bring up this menu here where you can access the options and all that stuff. Resume the game or obviously pause the game if you're going to step away. And to exit this game, your exit key will not work, as is the case with some of the PC games. So to exit the game, you actually have to go through the menus. So let's say you wanted to exit back, back to hyperspin. You would press pause. You would go down to exit, exit game and then press enter or player one start. And then it's showing you enter to confirm. So you do that, which is again, player one start. And now you're stuck here. I this is a little bit weird, this game, but you have to go back, right? So like I said before, back is player one coin. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And then it takes you back to the previous menu and then back again and back. So you have to go all the way back to this main screen here. Then you can go down to exit game, player one start or enter. And again, and then it kicks you back out to hyperspin. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.